Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's That Indie. Now, have you ever heard the, thra the phrase, busy as a beaver, and thought, beavers, I've always wanted to build a city with thousands of them? Uh, you probably haven't, but in case you actually have, and you're one of the few people who have, this is Timberborn, currently in a beta. We actually played the alpha of it uh, quite a while ago. Um, yeah, the game is now at a stage where you can, I think, maybe buy it? Or maybe soon buy it, there'll be a link in the description. I'm using code I've uh, been given. But yeah, your goal is to build a city with beavers. Now, you may not like beavers, or you may like beavers, who knows? Beavers are inscrutable folk who live in wood, eat wood, grow wood, and then, I don't know, probably plant more trees for all I know. Now, in Timberborn, you're actually building a city and there's beavers involved. You're not building a massive dam, you're not defending it against ravenous humans. It's just a city with a lot of verticality and there's uh, beavers involved. Now, I say verticality because each building is flat on top, as you can see. They're designed to be built on top of each other. But for me to even get this kind of scaffolding, I have to research, because as you know, beavers were massive researchers in the past. They hid it very well. Now, food is pretty simple in the game. You can either cut down mature berry bushes, or you can cut down, like, um, I think that's it. Actually, now I'm saying that. And also plant carrots and potatoes. Now, because this is very early in its development cycle, you get all sorts of things, like building is currently beavers looking pensively at the construction sites. There's no uh, animation. Like even here, they're sort of staring at the tree, hoping it dies naturally. So yeah, there's no real animation going on there, but it will start building up. Now your animals, your beavers, need somewhere to sleep, somewhere to drink, and somewhere to eat. So right now we need to obviously get some more food. We need to get some water. We need to get some science. Grow the power of science. The workers want to get three science points. Okay. As you can see, this can also be put on top of some of... But right now, we don't have a way of putting it on top of things. So we're just going to build it here. And we're going to start building housing. Which, again, we can't really do much with. Well, I'm obviously going to build up top later as well and actually have a nice little area for my beavers to be. Because obviously they're busy little beavers. Although right now, not so much. Now, every single guy in it gets a job. As you can see, there's two in the four builders, one gatherer, two lumberjacks. And each building provides more people. Now, obviously, you want to have a few jobless wondering about, so you can at least assign them new jobs. But it's just like every other city building game. You put a building, it gets some jobs available, you get more people. Now, right now, of course, uh, we have no housing. We have eight adults, three children. I also imagine this is um, a temporary UI, because it doesn't really fit with the theme of the game. It does look very temporary. And there you go. We're now crafting science. That's right, you thought you had to... Um, learn things and do stuff. No, you craft it and then you throw it at something you like the look of. So if I crafted enough science, I could learn how to make a Tesla. That's just how it goes. But yeah. The game has a quite a lot of interesting little things going on, like they do use uh, roads and paths to actually move around faster, they have food, they have like social, I think. They have an entire power system which you can use to move power around your city, which is awesome. But obviously right now, we don't really have much going on. A campfire, we're going to have this set up here. So we have leisure, we have food. Plenty of food, plenty of water, but yeah, I love this game. I absolutely love the aesthetics of this game. I mean, I'd also like it to be in a big, massive, um, an absolutely massive dam, but I'll take it. I love city builders. More houses. People are finally sleeping somewhere. Three, six, nine, twelve. That's all of them. There we are. 
How do I get another lumberjack? Desired 180. Where are the lumberjacks? Builders. Eh. Okay. We made some more watering holes. But yeah, the game is early. It might be out now. I'm not too sure. Water wheel produces power. Of course, if it is out now, it is a very, very early and it's extremely subject to change. Like, a lot of change is going to come to this game. Food's looking good. One of the big issues I had in the alpha was your uh, beavers usually ran out of food and died. Now there's actually food in the game, which is awesome. As you can see, it also highlights where they can go. There's a big area around it. They kind of rely on paths to move. Also, as you can see, staircases and things help out. Oh, we should do well being high school. Four. Awesome. My beavers are happy. Maybe some more watering holes. Six logs to make it. Bloody hells. I think that was less logs, and there's like literal logs in it. Let's get a carrot field here. Actually, let's go carrot field over. Hmm. I'd love to get it there. Let's go there. Carrot field next to the river. Okay, we're still gathering logs. Good. So, as you can see, new things grow. I could just cut everything down, but I'm not a monster, not yet. I'm not a beaver. Oh dear, look at them go. And obviously there isn't too much in the game store, as you can see, you can see almost everything. There's a few things you can unlock, there isn't too much extra, but... It shows great promise, it's an extremely good bloody foundation. Come on, I actually need this final house up and running. Oh, beavers were asleep on the floor, and they looked cute. Can I actually unlock this? I can even unlock foot bridges. Uh, scaffolding is 90. I need planks. Power inputs. This needs power. Oh, no. Well, all my beavers now have houses. 3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah. Right, 11 of 8 adults, nor to 4 children. Oh! Oh, I don't like that noise. Okay, so let's get some power down. So power, like I say, is intriguing. Hmm. Okay, let's get... Carpenter. To there. To the house there. Actually, let's just see what happens with the actual power. Things have changed since I last used this game. Fifteen logs for a carrot field. I'm kind of curious if I actually need to connect power directly to. Yeah, I do. Look at that. Okay. So, yeah, you then get this massive system of power moving about. Which, if you get it right, will be above the areas where your beavers are walking. But if you get it wrong... Yeah. There's a lot of games like this, like Factory Town. Which I can now think of. And vaguely, probably, uh, Satisfactory. Not so much Factorio, because Factorio is 2D, but, you know, similar kind of ideas. A lot of games went fantasy Factorio style. And I thought I'd been massively happy for that. I like the more fantasy style of Factorio kind of games. There we go. Sixty-five carrots every four days. Our food is bad. Uh, 
Two jobless, that's fine. There we go. So we've got two gatherers. Oh, we've got children. A 69 science giggity. Food's coming in, water's fine. Obviously, you can store water if you needed to. Real potato. Crafts four grilled potatoes from one potato. Really? We need a potato farm. Same size. 50 logs. Oof. I don't quite know where their um, economy is coming from, but I'd like to know what these logs are being used for. 50 logs for a wheel. That's 50 trees. Wait. That's 25 full trees is making that. I don't know, it seems too much. Like, three logs are making this. I can kind of see it, because one of these is literally a log. This is definitely going to be um, temporary. Working hour 16, day 8. D 8 days already? Wow. Time flies when you're murdering. Trees. I now have this. Hmm. I did that, like it can only really fit two on. So you, you can't really do it over the top of things unless you have like um, scaffolding. I don't have scaffolding yet. I'm not entirely sure I can go under scaffolding now I think about it. No, you can't go under scaffolding. Hmm. Let's do that. Can do that. Have another house up here. Look at that. Perfect. I love the verticality of this. Any game which adds verticality is amazing in my book. But now, of course, we need planks. Is this 50? Oh, plenty of power left. Oh, wow, we have deforested the world. We are beavering. And there we go. One plank, one log. We are really wasting resources. Okay. So we need more children. It looks like the world is doing pretty well. We need more food. Do that, go. Yeah, we're kind of deforesting the entire world right now. If I do this, do I just straight up delete things? No. Gather more food, we're low on it. Get another child. 
So yeah, you really have to keep an eye on your resources. You are eventually going to accidentally screw yourself over if you do it wrong. Because unless you get your food prepped, you are going to, you know, very seriously run low. Very, very seriously run low. I'm, I found that noise. But yeah, this verticality is pretty cool. What was that? Oh, if it won, it's five. I love it. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Yeah, we have eighteen spaces right now. But all soon to be. Plenty of food, kind of. I imagine you can't, you know, multi-height the things. As you can see, you can't really build in certain areas. Like, I think the resources may grow back. There was a problem before where they would not grow back. So I am hesitant to kill everything. Never I'm honest, but we'll see. Very hesitant to destroy everything. More trees to cut down. But yeah, it's a very relaxing game when you solve the food and water issue. Obviously, water is extremely easy. Food is the problem. As your city slowly grows and more people come in, it's pretty epic. 20 logs. Twelve logs for that house, made literally of logs, but fifty for this. I'm calling suspiciousness on what they're doing with all these logs. I think they're eating them and then demanding more food. Highly suspicious. Must have suspicious badgers then. I mean, there might be badgers. Oh, there's a lumberjack flag. Huh. Going out is pretty cool. I'll be needing more than, of course, I would like a grill. Does this require power? No. Now that's a there. This down to here, then move up to here. Like that. Yeah, I like it. It's got a massive amount of appeal. It's a really awesome, relaxing game. Reachable Bush. Sounds like a stage name. Don't destroy too much, we kind of want certain things to grow back. Obviously, too much deforestation is a bad thing. Right now, our food supplies are the low. So, can we then? So, I can get 30 potatoes every six days. I can turn out 120 grilled potatoes. That's every six days. That requires a lot of potatoes. Which is why carrots are currently the king. But yeah, as you can see, food is a struggle still. Food will always be the eternal struggle. You just... I see. In Bajan Abori. Just seems to be casually sitting out there and watching the world. I mean, you do you. You do you. Okay, they're growing. Food is prepped very soon. Probably another one of these. 
Coward? A coward as hell? Really? Beaver cowards? I don't trust these beavers. Lives in sleep. What? Really? Hmm. Oh well, that's their choice. There's housing. Or food. That's going to take oh, so much longer. And there we go, we now have this going. Satisfies nutrition too. What are my goals? To get the eager beaver, which is a different type of beaver, I need wellness of 8. Fancy beavers as a wellness of 11 while being eager. Bugger. Alright. He's just going to be storing up on logs. There's no uh, potatoes right now, of course. But I think this is really isn't quite nice. Like I say, I love this. Oh, wait. A walkable on and underneath platform. Okay. Yes. I think I can have more housing over here. So yeah, I'm enjoying this verticality. Obviously I can't build platforms over this stuff, but I don't really need to. Food's getting a little bit low. Not reach, but oh, come on. Okay, delete. There we go, come on. Gather more food over there. Now cross over here. Then we can get ladders, uh, get some staircase up to here. We have even more berry bushes. So it's all about expansion and our lack of food again. Yeah, food will always be your main issue, your main fight every day. Every day. Because going to any other side is expensive. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, berries are coming in. Potatoes will be done in another couple of days. That'll be fine. We just need to survive long enough for the farms to get food. But yes, when you're not fighting starvation. You're doing quite well. Yeah, I love these little verticality slices which are going on. We do that. Have another one set up here. This is going well. I should probably stop building houses. I'm pretty sure because I'm giving them space, they're very happy. And they want to get happier. Which isn't good when they're dying of starvation. Yeah, they're hungry. Okay, that's two not starving anymore.
More food. Okay, they're not starving. We're literally on the edge of starvation. <laughs> oh, this is not good. But yeah, as you can see, certain buildings can be built on top of others and be the end stuff. So you can build massive piles. And you probably should be. Build massive towers of wooden awesome. And like, ex and cross over bridges. So you, it's just the only way to go, really. Come on, food. Oh god, we're already out of carrots. But yeah, whatever you do, build better than I will. So I'm going to be playing this again, I feel. Where I do better. Lack of death and stuff. But yeah, I'm enjoying this. Look at it. It's so... It's so cute, really. I could definitely extend it more. Like, six outwards or ten outwards. And then maybe scaffolding in between. To extend more so. But obviously, each and every one of these you're building will look different compared to what you're doing. Which is awesome. I'm saying awesome a lot. I apologise. Level six! That means people are eating grilled potatoes. I think they eat the regular potatoes too. Oh, we're going to die of starvation. It's official. Starvation of death is definitely going to happen. Berry bushes are slowly growing back. I have to leave them for a while so they can repopulate. so long food but yeah if you do decide to pick up the game be better than I am links in the description downstairs below as always I can say I'm not sure it's out yet now I'm saying all this I think it might be one of those just for the influencers I hate that phrase even though I have it on a business card Ugh. it's so adorable I do enjoy the power system. Like I said, I do enjoy the power system and the verticalness. But yeah, as you can see, you can really go vertical with this game. Now you can start building up here, scaffolding down here. This entire thing, I could turn into a massive warren of walk raising housing. And just because I just might, just to prove a point, obviously I'm not going to come back to this exact one, so sod it. Go with all this. Go. Uh, yeah, so let's see what I can actually build randomly. Obviously, I don't have to access too many building types right now, so I have to really decide what I want. Yeah, so I'd go with this. I definitely need the scaffolding to make the city look better. The most is random the housing. As you can see, you can walk over. You walk up here, go over here, get into this section, which is house, 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 house. There's obviously a walkway down here to get you to another section, let's say. You got to here and this takes you over. 
Can I go? Oh, I can go up here. I think I need scaffolding underneath to go any higher, though. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, this looks like an absolute mess, but it's already looking... Weirdly enough, how I like my cities. Slightly mad. And slightly mad is pretty cool. Like, you've got to say, this has character. This definitely has more character than anything I could build from pre prefabbed stuff. And it reminds me a bit of... Um... Ah, there was a city in Guild Wars. A massive city had a plague in it. Guild Wars 1. Janing City? Reminds me a lot of that. Anyway, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been a first impression of Timberborn. An awesomely epic and really cute game. We have giant furry rats. Look at them. Furry giant rats. Anyway, ciao for now. Be awesome. Be epic. Links in the description downstairs below. And I'll see you next time. Stay safe out there. <laughs>